Welcome to another Good E-Reader video tutorial. This is Marcus and today's video tutorial we're going to teach you how to edit the metadata using Calibre. One of the reasons why you would use this or why this would be useful to you is it gives you more control over managing your ebooks and your ebook library. This is applicable to your PC or to your actual e-reader. A lot of books that you might download on the internet may not have the author's name properly on the book. It may have the book uploader or it may have a mixture of the author's first name, last name, last name, first name. Pe different people have different preferences. We're going to teach you how to edit all of this information to make the most out of your ebook. So we're going to be using a program called Calibre. We have filmed other tutorials using this program. Uh, if you want an introduction to Calibre or want to know how you convert ebooks from one format to another, we definitely have an extensive library on our forum. We have a great video section right here where we do video reviews of different e-readers, we do different tutorials and such um, from everything from your iPad to different e-readers. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be using Calibre to edit your metadata. Now you notice here by looking at the book, so we already have opened Calibre and have already gone to the option here called Add eBooks. Add eBooks from a single directory, selected our book, and we're going to edit it. By looking here, you see that the author's name is Rabbit Jordan instead of Robert Jordan. Uh, the title of the book is very long, so we want to shorten that up as well as you can see that there is actually no cover art on the book. So we're going to be solving this by highlighting the book and you have to highlight it otherwise if you wanted to say have it not highlighted you go to edit metadata error no book is selected so we want to highlight the book right click select edit metadata because we only have one book we're going to do it individually but if you have multiple books on your stage you can go and do it in bulk and just do it one by one so we're going to do this and left click. Now, as you can see here, that there's the title, the author or authors, the author sort, as well as various rating systems, publishers, ISBN number, cover art. You can see all of this we want to change. So the first thing that we're going to change is the name of the book. Uh, the full title of the book is The Eye of the World. So we're going to keep things simple and delete all the superfluous information after that. Uh, we want to change the name of the author, author from Rabbit Jordan to Robert Jordan. And the author certainly is not Marcus the Great, which is me. We're going to simply do this by labeling it Robert Jordan. You may want to do the last name first. Uh, that You can certainly do that by adding a comma. So if this is most of the way, most of the, the authors that you have or ebooks that you have usually adhere to this naming convention. So this will be the one that we adhere to. And we're going to left click fetch metadata from server. You can see here it's searching for it. Okay, so it's found the book. So what we're going to do is keep all the default options here and press OK. Now you can see the publisher's name has been auto filled in as well as tags, uh, the series which is the Wheel of Time whereas the series name used to be here in the title as well as the book. Uh, we generated an ISBN number as well as the date that it was published which is September 2000 and a plot summary of the book. Now what we want to do is get rid of the default cover art and put the real book's cover art in it. Now before we can do the cover art, you have to do these steps first. So once you've done all this, you just want to simply left click on download cover and it will put the original cover art of the book. So you simply want to left click OK. Now you can see that it has fixed it up from the title to the author which is today's date is which I edited this as well as tags for the book and how big the ebook actually is. It is in MOBI format or MOBI format which is for Kindle e-readers and you can see here that the cover art of the book has been generated as well. Now if you're happy with what you did you can simply right click and click go to the option here called save to disk 
Gives you some options here because there's only this book is in one format. I'm just going to simply click save the disk. Then I'll say I want to put it in an ebook folder. I want to copy it to my desktop and so on. Once you do this step, you'll actually be able to copy this over to your e-reader and be able to have your e-reader and most importantly your ebook in a much more manageable format. Um, if you're interested again in any further video tutorials, you can check out our YouTube channel or you can check out the Good E-Reader video section on our forum. And if you enjoy any of our videos, we'd like to hear from you. For Good E-Reader, this is Marcus and everybody take care.